Join the ride with this year's Fall Camp Cam. It's brought to you by Mason City Ford Chrysler, Mason City Red Power, MBT, Saragota County Farm Bureau, Hancock County Farm Bureau, and Farmers State Bank. And now, let's head to the field for this episode of the Kiss Country Cab Cam. 2018 Cab Cam, first one of the year. We're doing this with Brad Harris, and we're in the beans today. Uh, typically not in the beans this time, well, uh, on a normal year. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like I was telling you, uh, September 17th uh, was the last day that we did uh, beans for a full day or two, and uh, yeah, this yesterday was the first time we really got back into them, and uh, now they're finally getting down to 12, 12 to 13 percent. So yeah. that's a good thing, and the ground is starting to dry out some. You're gonna have your bad spots still, but uh, for the most part, this yeah, this field doesn't seem too bad yet. Yeah. What uh, what are we what are we picking here? These are uh, Asgro 21 X7, uh, 2.1 but uh, they're, like I said, the cold weather we had uh, a few in the past week or so uh, really even, I mean, evened everything out and uh, don't have to worry about any uh, stalks that are green or anything like that. So uh, and usually in September or something, you try to do some, there's some areas that aren't quite ready, but now the whole field's ready. It just might be the ground might not be ready. People typically, you take the corn out first and then the beans normally no you like to do beans first. Beans, beans first yes beans okay. are first and uh, typically uh, this year you're kind of hopping back and forth if you had a bean field that was dry enough you'd do that then uh, it'd rain or something then you could, you could do some corn if you wanted to we generally don't like to do corn any earlier than we have to but we had some weather damage um, stock quality was an issue just because of all the wind of the rain and wind and everybody's been dealing with that so how do you use the ears of the corn do you, do you use the old uh the thing about how winter's going to be if they're tight wrapped is that like a, an old farmer's myth or uh, uh, I, I don't I, I don't even go there I don't even know what <laughs> what, what some of those are but uh, uh, I, I you know I, they, I've heard what uh, well when it plant the dust the beans will bust but we didn't plant the dust so I'm thinking you know the beans aren't quite busting around here yeah the bins <laughs> so uh, operation wise you run the combine you got it's a family operation uh, typically Brian and I switch off um, every other day uh, he's not in here today because of you you're here so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no usually every other day you know typically um, Brian and I switch off dad usually runs the truck or the grain cart trucks or the grain cart um, but it's it's nice to be able to do different stuff um, switch things up yeah Technology uh, changed a little bit over the years. Absolutely. Uh, right now, just got the auto steer set, and you can kind of keep a better eye on things, uh, look out for stuff. And uh, yeah, we plant with auto steer, we harvest, spray. So yes, uh, yeah, it's changed a lot. You can get so much more done too. Uh, so, what's the biggest change over the last five years, technology-wise, farming? Man, I would have to say your variable rate stuff. Uh, that technology because you can use it both fertilize you know your, your chemicals fertilizer uh, and also just the the GPS uh, and that goes with soil sampling grid sampling uh, you know and, and the auto steer stuff is just it's unbelievable accurate yeah. too so that's probably one of the biggest changes uh, yield, uh, hybrids uh, they're they're seem to be a lot better stronger um, to be able to have uh, something to harvest this this field had so much water in it that um, we're fortunate to have something out here to harvest, so um, that, get, that that says something about the the uh, varieties and the hybrids. Overall, an interesting year from spring planting to, to it, fall harvest. Yeah, that the snow in April kind of set the course for the year. I, I believe that uh, trying to calve this spring and 17 inches of snow that one day that that was a tough tough day, uh, and then all the rain at one. It seemed like the rain came at one time, you know, all the time. So, uh, yeah, very interesting from the start. It's always good to be out in the, in the camp or in the harvest season. Yeah, yeah. It, you know, it, it, it's better if the yields are good. You're not avoiding a, a get stuck, but uh, hey, you just never know what you're going to get uh, from year to year. So you you take what you can get. Our first cab cam of the year out here with Brad Harris again. Thank you, Brad, for letting us in the cab. Yeah, of course.
this year's Fall Cab Cam. It's brought to you by Mason City Ford Chrysler, Mason City Red Power, MBT, Saragota County Farm Bureau, Hancock County Farm Bureau, and Farmers State Bank.